Hey lovelies, thanks for stopping by my channel. Today we are just going to be doing a quick little look good, feel good situation. I honestly am just ready for spring. It's not spring yet. Today is March 1st, so we're getting there. We're getting really close and here in Wisconsin, <laughs> I keep getting both. We keep getting like wintry weather and then like a hint of spring and today I'm just ready to like feel like spring is on the precipice. So we're just going to be doing some easy like feel good glowy makeup and i'm going to be trying out a couple new things newish things using some things that have been in my collection today i think i think these products are just going to give us a quick little perk me up so this isn't quite like no makeup makeup but it's not like full-on glam it's somewhere in the middle where it's like okay i want to look good i want to like feel a little glowy Maybe it's not like summer, summer makeup, but something that just makes you feel like invigorated. This is a really long rambly intro. So before I keep going, if we haven't met, my name is Kelly and I'm a professional hair and makeup artist. And here on my channel, I strive to keep beauty real, real honest, real relatable and real fun. So if that sounds like something you'd enjoy, don't forget to hit subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos. All right, so if you are ready to get your glow on with me, feel a little perkier, let's get right into this. All right, I did already prime my skin. I went through with the Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This I honestly used as my moisturizer and primer today. I I have a tendency of like putting my skincare on in the morning and then I wanna let it absorb for a minute before I put my moisturizer on, but then I forget to put moisturizer on until I'm here at my vanity. I probably just need to keep a couple moisturizers on hand here at my vanity. And I do usually go through with the First Aid Beauty uh, Coconut Smoothie priming moisturizer but that one's a little bit more glowy and like even more dewy than this one so i wanted something that was a bit more lightweight because today we're going to be using the ColourPop pretty fresh tinted moisturizer and this definitely has that like lightweight like a little bit more emollient feel and so i didn't want to be like super glowy slide all over the face kind of situation i haven't used this one in a while and I can't remember what it was the other day, but I just, I was like, oh my gosh, I haven't used this. This bottle is like almost gone, so I really wanna use this one up. I have the shade Light 7W, which is usually what I wear in the winter and springtime. And I just love that this just gives that little bit of coverage. It really has such a nice finish and I haven't used it in a while. So we're gonna go ahead and pop this one on. Let's see, let's use our Artiste brush today. We've been using the um, BK 101 quite a bit. And so let's pull something else out. So I have a, like zoom call to hop on later today. And I just wanted something to, you know, look a little bit more finished and feel put together. And I, I truly do feel like the days that I like put on real clothes on my days off and, you know, maybe do a little bit of makeup that could even honestly just be like eyebrows and mascara. But the days that I do a little bit of that is the days that I feel like more accomplished, ready to like get things done. And so it really is that like, look good, feel good situation. Not that I don't have my days where I uh, have nothing on my face and I'm 100% okay with that. I guess it's just a mood, right? I also just really love like how quickly this blends into the skin. So if you're like in a hurry in the morning and you just want like a light, <laughs> a light wash or something to help even out your skin tone, this just blends in in like no time. You could totally use your fingers to do this. You guys know I'm just like team no fingers. I can't, I cannot do it. All right, now I'm just gonna go through with a light dosing of the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. You guys, I'm so sad. Of course, everybody has heard the news that Becca will be closing their doors. It, I'm, I'm kind of speechless. Like, <sighs> Becca definitely makes a few products that I really enjoy, this being one of them. Uh, I know that, you know, of course, they are known for their highlighters but I mean, the blushes are amazing and I really do like the, is it First Light Primer? That's the, the champagne-y one. Oh, I'm so sad. So I'm, I'm trying to decide, do I need like to get a backup of this? I mean, I've still got a decent amount in here, but I do really like this color corrector. It just, it's very user-friendly. It's not so pigmented that, you know, you have to worry about like over correcting but it does really help a little bit. I'm actually gonna just use my fingers here after I'm talking about being no fingers, but I think that a product like this just, it really helps to use the warmth of your fingers to like meld it into the skin. But I mean, look, I already look like, I look like I got an extra hour of sleep. I'm just gonna top this one off with a little bit of the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. You don't want anything like too, with too much coverage. 
All right, so for my chin, I'm just using this concealer and blending it in with a stippling motion to kind of keep more of that coverage. I have so much like hyperpigmentation from breakouts from wearing a mask every day. And this just helps keep that with a little bit more coverage, even though it is a lightweight product. And we're using the RCMA, you guys. I am going to get through some of this this year. This is in my project pan. We are doing it. So I'm just using this in the areas that I put that concealer down on my chin so that that doesn't like slide around since I did put a little bit more there. And then light dusting down the nose and over the eye. I'm actually going to go through with my highlighter first because I actually want to work it into the blush so it's not like overly glowy. I'm actually going to mix my two shades of Auric. I have the Auric Glow Lust in Morganite and Pyrite. I feel like Pyrite would, it's going to give me like a little bit more bronziness. I thought about putting this underneath the tinted moisturizer and I decided that I just wanted to highlight the high points of the face. So mixing these two together should give me a like bronzy yet not overly dark glow. So I'm just gonna do like a tiny, tiny little dot of both and we'll just mix these together. And I'm gonna tap this on. Yeah, so it's almost like maybe like one shade lighter than my skin tone. Maybe, almost actually like even exactly my skin tone right now it's just kind of giving it that like extra glow and I'm gonna throw some of this under the brow bone you guys who am I I'm using my fingers Aileen if you're watching this gold star for me gold star all right and I'm actually gonna pop a little bit of this above the high point of my brow too that just gives us like a little bit of luminosity but it doesn't look like textured at all. I honestly, I love these Glow Lust. Sam did such a good job. It just, it's just really like, oh, my face looks healthy. It looks like I go to the gym and I drink a lot of water, neither of which am I doing right now. So now I did share this in my recent live, but I did pick up one of the new Tower 28 uh, lip and cheek colors. This is the Beach Please in Power Hour. So I'm gonna pop a little bit of this on just using a stippling brush. Probably could use my fingers since that seems to be what's going on today, but I'm not going to do that today. We are gonna go through <laughs> with a brush and this is actually pretty pigmented, so you don't really need a lot. I'm okay with having a little bit more cheek color today because I'm not gonna be doing like a, mo a very bold lip or, you know, not a big bold eye. So just having this like extra flush in my face just makes me feel like like I said, like spring is here, even if it's not, and I like it. And laying down that auric glow lust first, just, again, it just makes it really like that, like lit from within. It doesn't look at all like I like put anything on my face to make it glow, it just looks naturally glowy. Now, if you guys wanna see what this looks like on my lips, I did wear this on my lips in that live. It was my um, February favorites and fails. So I will make sure to link that one up above for you guys. Um, a, if you wanna see this on the lips and B, if you just wanna know what I was loving and not so much loving in the last month. Yeah, see, I just, I feel like it's like already, like honestly, I could put my brows on, put some mascara on, a tinted lip balm and be out the door. I just, I just feel like this is very fresh faced and I am enjoying it, but that's not going to be what we're doing today. We are going to add a little bit more. So first I'm going to go through with a little bit of bronzer. Now, it's not that often that I wear like a super sheeny bronzer, but I pulled out this Jane Iredale. Uh, this is the So Bronze 2. So this one has the little moon of the like goldy dust to it. So I've just like swirled my brush through both sides of this. Most of the time I tend to just stick more towards the uh, matte side of this, but I thought that today we could use a little extra shimmer. So I'm just going to add a little bit of this and warm up the face. Now I am just going to take a little bit of the matte side to do a little contour here. If you guys haven't tried Jane Iredale products, this is the brand that I first used um, when I was doing makeup in the salon. And honestly, they have some really nice products. I love the bronzers. I have a highlight that I really enjoy. Like the powder products are just so nice. And if you like mineral makeup, Jane Iredale is a great brand. So 
that is where we're starting with that. Now, since I was just talking about <laughs> Jane Iredale, I'm gonna go through with the D2O hydration spray. I really like this spray. I don't necessarily think that it like extends the longevity of your makeup, but if you're wearing any powders or anything like that, it does set it down nicely and just gives you a nice like glow, but not like that overly greasy glow. Plus there's just something about the scent of this. I don't know, I don't know what it is, but it just, I think it just takes me back. It reminds me of when I was first doing makeup. And so there's just something like reminiscent about it. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is just quickly run through with a little bit of this Charlotte Tilbury Eyes to Mesmerize pot. So I actually got this one. Um, if you guys saw, I had gotten over Black Friday weekend, the last year's, um, advent calendar and this was one of the products that was in that not like the 2020 advent calendar the 2019 and they had it like half off or something crazy like that so this is the star gold shade i thought i would just like throw a little bit of this all over the lid just to give us some shimmer and some definition thought it would look nice i have not used this one yet so we are going to use it together right now i'm just going to use a fluffier brush this is the base shadow brush from real techniques and i am just going to plop this on while this mirror is dirty I can, I can kind of see. So good thing we're using a very quick and easy to put on product. That literally took all of like 60 seconds. That was really, really quick. I like this color. It's definitely more of that like bronzy gold color. I do also have the Sunrise Copper Shade. So you guys can see this is the Sunrise Copper Shade. That is the one, or Copper Sunrise. That's the one that came out like around the Fire Rose Quad time. And then this is the Star Gold. Star Gold? Yes, Star Gold. So um, I like this color. Honestly, I really like these Eyes to Mesmerize. I don't know if like for the price, I would get a lot of them, but if it was on a sale or like for the price that I got that advent calendar for, that was a major steal. So I really enjoy that. I think what I'm gonna do to just give a bit of a blend is take a 201 brush from BK Beauty and just run a little bit of this bronzer that we used right along the edge. Just to give it a bit more of a blur. All right, and then we got that super flattering face while I went and just ran a little bit of that underneath my eyelid. So liking that a lot. I am realizing this is like kind of a Charlotte Tilbury heavy video, but I have been, I finally like cracked open into that advent calendar and I, I was just like, okay, I really need to use these things. And I realized in the last video that I was using some of them, I had forgotten about a Pillow Talk eyeliner that I had gotten with my last order. So this was like totally one of those things where it was like, I got something free over X dollars and I was really, really close. It's like, well, I have to add something. And of course this Pillow Talk liner looked so, so pretty. It is like that perfect, has a slight bit of, I don't know, like a, like a mauve plum undertone. And so with my eye color, I think that this is gonna look really nice. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of this along the lash line. That is so pretty. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, I will make sure to like give you guys a zoomed in look once we have the look all finished so that you guys can check it out. But it's such a pretty color and it really just makes the green in my eyes pop. I'm tempted to run this along the lower lash line too. Eh, I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna keep it really simple today. We're just gonna go with this. This color is super pretty. And this, um, this eyeliner is really creamy. I So this is said to be just says Pillow Talk Eyeliner. It doesn't say it's one of the Rock and Coals because the other one I had was labeled as a Rock and Coal. I should probably go onto the Charlotte Tilbury website and look and see if she just rebranded her eyeliners or if they're two different things. Okay, so I just did a bit of research on the website and the eyeliners and the Rock and Coals are two separate formulas. It really doesn't say a lot about the difference between them. I would assume that the Rock and Coals are gonna be a little bit more like blendable, smudgeable, smoky, like that's really what a coal is gonna do, but it does say that it can be long wear for up to 14 hours. So 
I don't know. If anybody does know, drop it in the comments for all of us. I, I am not aware. I couldn't really tell from the description what the difference is. Now I'm gonna let that eyeliner sit. That is the one thing that I find is, am I the only one that has this happen? Like you go, you put on eyeliner or you've got like a really shimmery lid shade and then you go and curl your lashes and your lasher, your lasher, and then your curler hits that area and then it takes off some of the product. So I'm gonna try to like let this set down for a minute so that that hopefully doesn't happen. So while I'm waiting for that, I'm just gonna chuck on this last Charlotte Tilbury product we have to put on. So I also looked up the Superstar Lips. So this is the shade Sexy Lips and what Charlotte Tilbury says on the website is, polymers create a soft silky feeling film to enhance wear, imparting a luscious shiny finish. Emollient oil has a brilliant spreading properties with a rich feel that leaves your lips with a heavy gloss and it has hyaluronic acid and peptides. So I'm assuming that this is gonna be a fairly sheer product, which I am totally okay with. So it does look pretty intense in the tube. Um, I was a little like, ooh, I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be nice. Yeah, this is just like a nice, like balmy product. That's right there next to that Pillow Talk um, eyeliner. So we're just gonna put some of this on, except, okay, you guys, like it got put in the package crooked. So like the bullet has a little bit of a lean, but that's all right. Wow, this feels really nice, like really nice. Yeah, it just feels like a really nice, smooth balm. Um, I know in my favorites, I actually talked about the Stay Vulnerable Lip Glossy Balm, and this has some of that like waxy in a good way feel, but it's a little like thicker. Um, it's obviously a little bit shinier too, but I did also have that like lip mask balm underneath, but this is so pretty. Like, I think this is such a flattering color. Again, this is Sexy Lips. Now these are $37, $34. I would not pay $34 for this normally. I mean, I think that there are a lot of like really nice tinted lip balmy glossy formulas out there, but this is really beautiful. Of course, the packaging is to die for. Charlotte Tilbury, come on. So if you're able to get this on sale or, you know, if you were able to get a steal on it, I would definitely recommend it. Obviously, the wear time on this is not going to be that great because it is so like glossy, but whew, so pretty. Liking it. Again, this is just like it's a step up from no makeup makeup, but not like quite like full glam glam. So now what I'm gonna do is just gonna go and define my brows, throw on a coat of mascara. I will be back and we can see the final look. All right, lovelies, here is the final look after I got some mascara and my brows on. If you guys wanna know what I was using, I went through with the NARS Climax Extreme. This is the one from my recent video where I was just, again, trying out new makeup. I think it's actually where I was using a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury things, but uh, I put on Instagram to see which mascara you guys wanted me to try. So I gave you a couple options. This is the one you picked, and I thought I'd put it on today because I'm trying to come up with like a really thorough opinion about it to put into a review roundup in the future. So I just have a couple coats of that on, just did that really quick. And then through my brows, all I did was the Benefit Gimme Brow. Like just, I didn't put any other gel in. I still really like this product. I have gone back and forth with my obsession with this one. And the thing that I like about it is, is it's, you can really get some definition, but it can still be somewhat soft. And right now I kind of wanted something easy and quick. And I have this little like breakout right here that is at the point where it's starting to go away. And now it's just getting kind of like dry and it's right at the beginning of my brow. So it's hard for me to do any like brow hair strokes over that and I'm just trying to like avoid that a little bit. So I have the shade four here. I think I have four and 4.5, but four is a little bit warmer, which I need right now just to like warm up what, you know, has faded from my microblading. So just to kind of like get a really nice, like neutral colored, well-defined, but not Sharpie brow. Does that make sense? All right. So what do you guys think? I am pretty happy with this. Like this really did not take much time, even with me sitting here and yapping with you guys. And I think that this is really just like a well, a well polished, I don't wanna say a well polished look, like I'm not polishing my face, but it's just, it just, I feel put together. I feel put together in a quick, easy breezy way. Uh, you guys know, I love Auric. Like I think that you can see even through the blush that we put over it, you just get a really nice little glow. This star gold shade on my eyes, I do really like it. I will say, I noticed that I already had a little bit of creasing and I don't think that that's 
common with these, so I'm wondering if it's just like the emolliency because I probably got a little bit of that Becca under eye when I was like trying to get in here. I noticed that some of it like traveled over, so that could be it. It could just be from the concealer that I put on. Um, I don't find that usually with pot products you have to lay down a like a primer first, so maybe with this one I would have to do that. I will definitely be trying that again, but you guys, this eyeliner is so so pretty now i'm not saying that this like aubergine type color is not something that you can find somewhere else i think i probably have an urban decay one that's kind of similar but i'm glad that this was my like little impulse buy to get my little free gift from the charlotte tilbury website and this lip butter thing sorry charlotte I, i've already forgotten it but again it's the sexy lip shade i really like this this is going to be something that i throw in my purse and you know when we're not wearing masks as much as we are now. I have something that I can just quickly put on. It is a like my lips but better, but in like a peachier, like my lips but warmer. We're gonna go with that. It's a my lips but warmer kind of feel. I love it. I think the skin looks great. I mean, I, I feel like ColourPop did a great job with this tinted moisturizer. I still love it. I definitely will be coming back to it this summer and spring. I just feel, I feel pretty. I feel pretty, I feel put together and ready to get going with the rest of my day. Speaking of, I should probably get going, but I wanna thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you did enjoy this, don't forget to give it a like. Let me know in the comments what your like go-to put together products are. Like if you have a couple that you're like, hey, I know this one is gonna look good every single time. Quick, out the door, love it. I would love to know your thoughts down below. I hope you guys all have an amazing day or an amazing evening wherever you are. Spring is on the way. It's time to get that vitamin D into our bodies, feel a little perkier. Thank you again so much for watching. I'll see you really soon.